Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Darius, and this video is for the girls. Today, we're going to Trader Joe's. Is that fun or quirky? You tell me. The realty about it is I always look crazy everywhere else on the internet, so why not look crazy on my video? I was really good looking at myself in the mirror going, what is going on? If I gave you an outfit of the day, you'd be screaming, I think. My shirt's wrinkly. Um, it's not for the girls right now, but you know what? So, see you at Trader Joe's. I'm not even gonna lie to you, it's the next day. I do look crazy between both days. Um, I'm really trying to focus on my inner self. Instead of my outer self, I look like I just stole a cat. The good will conquer. I First of all, let's just talk about how this lady was a packing legend. She got all this stuff into two bags. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Before we continue, I would like to give a huge thanks to the sponsor of this video, Opinion Outpost. If you guys ever need extra spending cash and you don't know where to get it, Opinion Outpost is literally the best way to do that. All you have to do is take surveys and you earn money from the surveys. Like could it literally get any easier. You can use your money for anything you can imagine, like maybe a seafood boil. I know you guys love seafood. I don't personally love seafood, but I know some of you guys do. Um, getting your hair done like I just did. I'm about to be going to Arizona to be in my second year of college, and I need extra spending money for that because so my lifestyle is expensive. Um, so anything that you can possibly think of, you could be using your money on. I just actually bought some earrings, like I told you, from Romania. <sighs> Don't ask. Especially because I know a lot of you guys have the desires and wants and needs to do a YouTube channel, right? And YouTube channels are not inexpensive. They are very expensive. You need the right camera, the right lighting, all equipment, all the stuff. And sometimes your day-to-day -day job is not gonna cut it. So having this little extra spending money is a great way to fund your YouTube channel. All you guys have to do is click the link in the description or click the link in the pinned comment to start making money right away. That's it. Thank you once again for sponsoring this video, Opinion Outpost, and yeah, let's continue with the video. Hey, baby! Guess who's winning the prize for Best YouTuber 2020? Thank you. Thank you so much for this award. I honestly really, I honestly really appreciate it. And okay, so the category is drinks. Now I only got four things as far as drinks from Trader Joe's, and one of them I actually did drink already. Could this be any more bootleg? Probably not. You know. Okay, let's try this. It is sparkling, so it's gonna do a. Okay, this is sparkling natural cranberry clementine flavored spring water. Okay. It's, when I first had it, it was absolutely disgusting. For some reason, I think it's growing, growing on me a little bit because it's just been growing on me. Sorry, I saw a few bubbles in there and I thought it was a roach. Okay, this is Trader Joe's orange peach mango juice, 100% juice. Ooh, the smell is giving me, it smells like bison back, to be honest. Mmm. I didn't shake it like it told me to do. This is definitely for the girls. It's giving you, I don't even know how to explain it. It tastes like orange, mango, and, and peach. And for the, right now, this is definitely gonna be getting, as far as juice is going, eight out of 10. This is 
the tangerine juice, which I can tell already has precip precipitate. I don't know what that word is. It's pres I think it's precipitate when you have floaties. Whoa, that's weird. That's really weird. What? I don't think I've ever really, I don't think I know what a tangerine tastes like. But wow. <clears throat> that has like six flavor profiles. I feel like it's hitting me and punching me with different things. It's sour, it's very weird. I'm gonna get to five out of 10. So, next up on the list is this sparkling black tea with peach juice. Okay, first of all, this sounds like it's gonna be nasty. I got it because it kind of was quirky. It was kind of killing it with the colors. I love the peach kind of design they have on the top and the bottom and the black box that came with, I'm sure they come in like skinny, uh, tea bottles or whatever and I thought it was intriguing. So this is sparkling black tea with peach juice They kind of ate I told you um, They're giving me a very just streamlined Red Bull can um, Ooh, the, the way it feels in your hand. Okay. I tried it now, but the, it's very soft. Does that make sense? I don't know. It's smooth That is absolutely gross. This is so nasty. It tastes like sparkling water with a hint of peach juice. And it's nasty. It is. I'm sorry, it's nasty. I'm trying, there's something there that I taste. Oh, it's tea. I was like, there's something I've had before that it tastes like. It tastes like tea, but with no sugar in it. By the way, guys, this is like, that's what it is. This has zero sugar. Usually when you're drinking like tea, like Arizona teas and stuff from the um, from the gas station, that stuff be riddled with sugar. This has, z I'm sure it has zero sugar in it. Two grams of sugar. What am I gonna do that? What am I gonna do with two grams? Tell me what I'm gonna do with two grams of sugar. This ain't nothing. The winner goes to the orange peach mango juice. It's actually delicious. Um, number two is this. I need to rate this. This is a, um, I'm rating this a three as well. The sparkling waters are just not it for me, but these juices were very good. This one was the best one. This one came uh, in second place. I have these sea salted saddle potato crisps, um, and it actually has a green man on it. Danger. Oh, no, 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 no. The salt content, yeah, that actually is so salty. What was the point? I cannot do it. I would rate that probably a, um, I mean, I would eat it. I would give it a four and a half out of 10. That's all I can give to the girls. This is the inside out carrot cake cookies. I got these for her because I know she loves carrot cake. So, um, we're gonna try this. Um, I don't really like carrot cake. I do like carrot cake. I like the cinnamon aspect of it. I don't like the carrot part because carrot and cake does not mix well to me. I don't know who thought of that. It wasn't cute. Um, they tried it, but um, I like the carrot cake besides the carrots. Also, this seems to have raisins in it and your girl does not mess with raisins. Um, I actually despise them and we got no fist fight one time, so. Um. 
Now, I don't know if this is because I waited so long. These are kind of like harder. And I don't know if they were hard in the beginning or is it because it's been a week since I bought them. But I can see where it could be pleasant to people who like carrot cake. But because I don't, I can't do it. I'm gonna give this a, um, I'm gonna give it a five out of 10. This is probably for the girls. Um, it was supposed to be sold, or it's best by 731. It is currently August. Um, so it's past its expiration date. Am I gonna still try it? Probably. If this is for the girls, because I think it's gonna be. <laughs> I absolutely love bready desserts, or like um, cakey desserts. Not necessarily cake, but I like, I'm, I'm trying to give you like brownie, warm brownie, warm cookie, bready desserts like this that are warm with ice cream on the top. This is for the girls, and I will name them. This tastes literally, this is a blondie. You guys know what a blondie is? Blondies are blonde brownies. This is a um, definitely show-stopping. I'm gonna give this a nine and a half out of 10, period. Now, another thing that I would probably like, this is a brookie, a brownie and a cookie. I think this gives you, this also does not give you instructions on how to heat it up, I swore it did. I was being disrespectful. I was being very disrespectful to the trader. Trader Joe, Joe the trader. I was being disrespectful. This is delicious. Mm. Listen, you know what I would do? All you kids out there, who have those little, those little potluck parties, is that what it's called? Yeah, potluck parties, and the, the, the teacher's like, yeah, make something homemade and bring in some dessert, get you about three containers of these, put these on a platter, put some saran wrap on it. Yeah, I made these at home with my mom last night. I made them last night with my mom. This is delectable. Mmm. I don't even, it's like, I'm not even joking. That's delicious. That's definitely getting a nine out of 10. I got mochi. I actually have really, ha I haven't had mochi like th in this form in years. I think I should try the fruit one first. This looks like a mixture between flour and frostbite. Um, ooh wee, uh, ooh wee, uh, ooh, uh, ooh wee. Now these are good. Ooh, huzzah! I would definitely have to let them fall more. I just took these out of the freezer and you can taste the literal ice on them. So, these are freezing. But I'm gonna let these sit out a little bit or whatever. This one seems like it's gonna be hard. Mmm. My verdict, my new verdict, is that the vanilla one is a seven out of 10. And this one is a five out of 10. Let me try it again.
No. 